Hello, my name is Bethany Chaplin and I'm a Minnesota Green Corps member serving with Crow Wing Soil and Water Conservation District. And today we're going to be walking through an activity called Get the Dirt Out. So all living things require clean water for survival. Human activities can add materials to water that make water unfit for use or pollute water. Polluted or dirty water affects the lives of plants and animals to the point of making them unhealthy. In extreme cases, polluted water can kill plants or animals. The best solution to water pollution is to prevent it from happening. This is not always possible, so methods have been devised to remove some pollutants from waters. Filters are used to remove sediment. Undisturbed soil is a natural filter. As water passes through it, pollutants are trapped. There are also human-made filters. For example, drinking water treatment plants use sand filters. Other filters like silt screens and straw bales are used for construction sites and filters help clean water but do not remove all of the pollutants. And filters do not always necessarily remove some contaminants such as soluble chemicals and bacteria. Today we're gonna need a couple different types of materials. We're gonna need three clear glasses. Two of those you're gonna fill up with water and one of them is gonna be empty. And then we're gonna need some dirt or sand and some vinegar, food coloring, and then some filtering materials such as a paper towel or a coffee filter, and then a rubber band. Let's leave one of these glasses as our clean water and then we're gonna make the other water polluted. First, we're gonna add some dirt and sand and this is gonna represent our total suspended solids. So we can just add that to the top. Those total suspended solids include anything drifting or floating in water from sediment, silt, and sand to plankton and algae and organic particles from decomposing materials such as leaves. And then next we're going to add our vinegar to represent pH. I'll add some of that. So the pH of water determines the solubility of water or the amount that can be dissolved in water and the biological activity or the amount that can be utilized by aquatic life and chemical constituents such as nutrients and heavy metals. So if the pH range is too acidic, that can't support aquatic life such as plants and animals and can cause death in extreme cases. And then finally, we're gonna add some food coloring. So our food coloring is gonna symbolize nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus. And those are good in small quantities in aquatic ecosystems, but if you have too much nitrogen and phosphorus, it can cause an increase of algae growth. And this can decrease the oxygen that is available to fish and other aquatic life that they need to survive. And sources of this can be from excess fertilizer use. So as you can see, our polluted water right here has all of our materials in there now. We're gonna take a filter piece of material. I'm gonna take our paper towel and I'm gonna place that on top of our glass and secure that with a rubber band. This is like the filter we talked about in the introduction. So then we're going to pour this into our empty glass of water and kind of see what that looks like. As you can see, some of the water has come in and our filter is stopping that sand and the dirt. And now let's compare our polluted water with our clean water. So as we can see, there's a color difference from that food coloring that's represented by the nutrients like phosphorus and nitrogen. And then we can also smell it and smell the vinegar. So we can see that it's more acidic than our normal clear water. This water is not completely clean after using the filter. We can see that it did a pretty good job at trapping the the sand and the dirt in the filter material. But we do want to make sure that we are keeping our waterways clean so that we have good drinking water and water that we can swim in and that the water is healthy for aquatic life such as plants and animals and fish. If you guys have any questions about this activity, please reach out to me and thanks for participating today.